most locations. It's 34 degrees in Birmingham. There has been some uh, freezing advisories and some uh, potential freezing spots in the low lying areas, but I don't think it's going to be an issue, folks. We do have a breeze in place right now, a north wind that is bringing our comfort level down. It feels like 25 in Haleyville and Coleman feels like 30 degrees right now in Birmingham, but it also prevents anything from freezing solid. You really need that calm wind. I hope you remembered to uh, take your plants in last night. I've had this one plant for one year and I took it in last night, thankfully, because it is a tricky one. We're gonna have several waves of cold air that will be diving southward. So you will need to, of course, bring those plants in at night, the pets, the pipes, and checking on all those uh, folks that may be in need of a warm place to sleep. Here's a look at your rain forecast. We are gonna stay dry for today, for most of Sunday too. But by Sunday afternoon, we will start to see an increase in humidity. A lot more cloud cover will move up out ahead of our next big weather feature. We're not expecting the rain, though, for most of the weekend. So there's 8 p.m. The rain starts picking up around areas of Louisiana by Sunday night. So heading into Monday morning, I think a lot of that moisture will move in from the southwest out ahead of our next big front. And that being said, it will be a little bit of a, a cold and kind of rainy uh, Veterans Day Monday for most spots, especially if you're going to be uh, up in and about early, we do expect the rain to be kind of through about mid morning. So that will impact a lot of folks that are heading downtown, maybe uh, com coming to the parade. Just be sure to put on a sweater underneath that rain jacket. Moving into Tuesday, though, it will be windy and cold. So right behind all of that rain, we do have a surge of cold air that will certainly bring those temperatures down below freezing by Wednesday morning and then keep us dry and pretty stable for the remainder of the week as we head towards Friday.